Hey guys, it's Apostle Michelle. I hope you guys are having a great day. I wanted to talk to you guys today about anointings, different anointings, and just to share understanding and revelation that I have on anointings. And so to kind of help you understand how to flow with the Holy Spirit and just understand more about the anointings that you have, okay? So first, we're going to read... In Luke 4, let me find it, Luke 4, chapter 18, uh, about Jesus and how he talks about different anointings that he actually has um, here, okay? So Luke 4, chapter 4, 18, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, okay? So that's one area he's anointed in. Um, and then he said, he sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Okay, so that's another area. Then he says, to, pre uh, to preach deliverance to the captives. That's another area. And then he says, and recovering of sight to the blind. That's another area. And then he says, to set at liberty them that are bruised. That's another area. And then the last one, which is six areas, he said, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Okay, so those are a list of things that he just said, you know, that God has anointed him in those areas, specifically in those areas. And as we know, uh, the Bible said that the Spirit actually was given to Jesus without measure. So he didn't have no measure of the Holy Spirit. Like, it was just unlimited everything. <laughs> And so, but that's not the same thing. That's not the same for us. We don't have unlimited measure of the Holy Spirit, or we can definitely operate in all things. So, but we do have different types of anointings. There is, and something that I have actually learned is that, let's say if you have, if you're anointed, you have the healing anointing, okay? That healing anointing is broken up into different types of healing anointings, okay? So instead of like a healing anointing that covers every type of thing, you know, everything complete, unlimited power, measure of the Holy Spirit in healing, there's different types of anointings for specific healings. And so I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this, but you may have someone that is uh, there, they have the anointing, for healing with cancer, or they might have a specific anointing to heal people that are blind, um, or they might have a specific anointing to uh, heal people who are deaf, you know what I mean? Or people that are in wheelchairs, crippled people, you know, they may have, they may have a specific type of anointing that 99% of the time when they pray, for someone in that category, they're healed. Like one of the ladies that used to be on our, <laughs> excuse me, you guys, um, that used to be on our ministry team, she had a healing anointing. And I remember specifically, she talked about praying for people with cancer and seeing them healed. She didn't talk about people blind and other areas that she was able to minister to them and see people healed, but she did mention people with cancer and she also said she's never prayed for someone uh, and they they didn't get healed. So at the time, I didn't really understand that, okay, that could be a specific area that she's able to see healing with people with cancer. Or maybe it's a blood disease, any type of blood disease where cancer is attacking the body, maybe that is an area where she sees healing. But then you have people like my home my home church, my pastors, they walk more in miracles. So he sees healing, cancer healing, but also he sees uh, resurrection of dead people, like things that you don't need healing, you need a miracle. So he kind of walks in that. He has um, the uh, miracle anointing, I guess you can say. But just to kind of like help you understand, like let's say if you have a healing anointing and you have some people you pray for and they're in a specific category 
And every time you pray for a person that has that specific category of sickness, you see them healed. But when you try to minister or pray for someone in this area, you don't see any healings. You know what I mean? So you can actually have an anointing like Jesus kind of went through a list of different things. You might have an anointing to minister to people with cancers or blood diseases or a certain type of disease. You know what I mean? Or um, if you pray for people with hear hearing issues and they're, they're able to hear instantly, you may have uh, anointing to pray for people who are deaf or have hearing issues or have sight issues, blindness or something like that, like what Jesus was talking about. So, I mean, I think that's really, really cool because a lot of times we feel that if a person has a healing anointing, that that healing anointing covers every type of sickness, every type of disease there is, which like we're talking about today, we're just talking about anointings. But like I said, there are times when you are the presence, like if you're in an atmosphere and God's presence is just in there so thick anyone can get healed or if you have strong faith you can get healed that way um you know so it's a lot of ways you can receive your healing we're just talking about specifically uh like if you have a specific anointing for that thing and so but i wanted to share that with you guys because the lord actually gave me a list of uh, different anointings that he has given me and when i look at each one of the anointings that he has given me each one of them has to do with like what I'm doing in deliverance. Like I have an anointing to help people get removed from the demonic realm. I have an anointing to uh, remove trauma from someone's heart. I have anointing to remove demonic spirits from the atmosphere. Like those anointings that he has given me is specific for the ministry that I actually do. That's why I'm able to do certain things in the spiritual realm because he has given me the anointing to do that. If I'm trying to do that <laughs> and he hasn't given me the anointing to do that, and then it's probably going to be a struggle. But then again, um, you know, we can still use the name of Jesus and the name, just the name of Jesus will command, you know, cause the enemy to bow down, but having the anointing to do it when the, whenever the anointing comes, the anointing does it. You know what I mean? So it's like, you don't really have to do much. Uh, the anointing does it. The anointing destroys the yoke. You know what I mean? Um, so, but like I was saying, there's still ways that people can get delivered. Um, they could, you know, use their authority, cast stuff out, use the name of Jesus. Um, they can do a lot of things. But if you have somebody like Jesus said that he was anointed to preach uh, deliverance to the captives, which that's still deliverance. He was ministering deliverance in the Bible, but he was anointed to do it also. So when you're anointed to do it, it's going to be easy. It's not going to be something you're going to be struggling all night trying to get a demonic spirit out of somebody, <laughs> which I did that before. I mean, I remember whew, ministering, trying to get this one spirit out of this apostle a long time. I mean I was I mean I was fighting with that spirit he was uh, it was just crazy but um and I believe that's when I was you know I was I was growing in my authority you know I was practicing exercising my authority so and so but like I said it's certain things that certain specific things that you do and maybe it's so easy for you to do it and it's every, every time you do it it's like a hundred percent it just works uh, without you even doing anything really serious um, that could be an area that you're anointed in and so what I wanted to leave with you guys is a tip like maybe you're anointed um, with healing or deliverance or prophecy or wealth or just anything like that um, but you don't know why certain times you minister in this area and nothing happens but then when you minister 100 percent in this area it uh the whatever it is it happens 99 percent of the time so what you can the way you can actually find out how what areas you're anointed in this blonde <laughs> um but how you can find out what areas you're anointed in is like when you feel the anointing come upon you or if you feel heat 
uh, heat in your hands or just heat come upon you or a power come upon you, what you can do is just be completely still and just listen. And what will happen is the Holy Spirit will tell you what to do because the anointing is on you and the Holy Spirit will tell you what to do. He might say, command fear to leave. He might say, uh, pray for some, you know, someone with cancer, whatever he tells you. And then you do that instantly. And then whenever the anointing lifts, what you want to do is write down what the Holy Spirit told you, what area you were ministering in when that anointing came on. Because if every single time the anointing comes on you, you hear something about uh, pray for someone with cancer or something that has to do with deliverance in a specific category of deliverance or a specific category of healing. If it's just always, you always hear pray for someone with cancer or some type of blood disease, then you know that's the area that you're anointed in specifically to minister to those people because the Holy Spirit is always telling you pray for that specific thing. So that's a specific anointing. Just remember, you can have a lot of different anointings. So one time you might hear pray for uh, cast out this spirit, pray for this type of healing. Just write down, that will let you know what type of anointings that you have. And so whenever you're ministering to people, you will already know, okay, I can minister to them in this area because the Holy Spirit in the past, the Holy Spirit has guided me when the anointing came on, uh, came upon me what to do. So I know that's the area that he's anointed me in. Okay. So that will just kind of help you see, um, these high, the type of anointings that you have. All right. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I know it was pretty quick. I was trying to hurry up and get it out before I go to work, but, uh, I hope it makes sense. I hope that's something that you can practice. Uh, when you feel the anointing, come on, just listen to what the Holy Spirit tells you to do. Then do it, of course and write down what he told you, what category, so you can understand um, the types of anointings that you have, all right? All right, you guys, and I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.